Hey everyone, this is the Unconditional Baller, and today I'm going to be telling a story about whenever I was in China. So, um, about four years ago, I moved to Australia, and on the way, it was cheaper to fly through China in business class than it was just straight to Australia, like, flying economy. So, our family just went, um, to China for like a seven day vacation on the way to Australia so um anyway we're in China and it's like the first day I think I don't know maybe it was the second day anyway um and we're in this huge shopping mall and like kind of say firstly the shopping malls are huge like it's crazy like there's like 18 floors and like one of the floors is like just like a theme park and it, it's so cool oh it's a little side story um Chinese fathers do not um, enjoy American boys showing up and getting their daughter to hold their hand. We went through this like um, haunted house type thing, and this chick kept like trying to grab my hand, and like her dad was behind us, and he was so pissed off. It was actually quite funny. And also in China, they're like they're brutal with the um, haunted house, like. They had, like, real people with, like, real axes, like, swinging. And, like, I mean, it was a... Like, it's probably a foot away from me, and he's swinging an axe at me. Like, I mean, come on. Like, I don't think they have any health and safety over there. But, you know, anyway, that's not really relevant to the story I just thought. I'd let you guys know about the mall. Um, so, anyway, we're walking around. We don't know what we're going to eat. And then we see this um, Chinese rest... Or not Chinese. Wow, good job me. Yeah, of course, they're all going to be Chinese restaurants. Anyway, so what happens is, like, we see this restaurant, it's packed. It kind of looks like a standard restaurant. You know, it probably would be, like, if you're in America, like, an Applebee's or, like, a Red Lobster, something like that. So we're like, okay, you know what, we're just going to go eat there. So we go in there, there's, like, ten options on the menu, and there's, like, photos, too. So we're like, well, this is great. And anyway, I see this thing that looks like a steak. So I'm like... Okay, I guess I'll order that. And so I, I like, point to it, and then the waiter, like, tried to tell me something. He's like, ho ching mong ching. And I'm like, yes, I do want this. And then he's like, you sure? Like, I couldn't tell what he was saying, but, like, I'm guessing he was giving me a warning, because he knew. And so, anyway, um, we're sitting there, we get our food, and, um, I start, it was one, it was like really small, the steak, like it wasn't like the size of a regular steak, and it was like a bit darker brown than like a regular steak, but anyway, so I like start cutting into it, I eat a couple bites, I'm like, dad, this steak tastes really weird, so then my dad like tries it, and my dad's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's dog, and I'm just like, I felt like I was going to throw up, it was disgusting, but um, yeah, didn't eat any more of it, and... Yeah, and then the waiter, like, came by, and he's, like, he, like, had a look, and he's, like, oh, I see you didn't eat very much of the steak. Like, he's giving me that look, like, he didn't really, um, talk because he's speaking Chinese. So, yeah, um, the rest of the vacation was pretty cool. My sister, um, ordered this chicken soup there, and, um, she pulled out, like, a proper chicken foot. Like, I mean, it was crazy. Like, there was, like, the claws and everything. And yeah, I don't know if they eat that there, or like how that works, but that was crazy. But anyway, yeah, it was a pretty cool story. Just thought I'd let you guys uh, hear it. Hope you enjoyed. And if you wouldn't mind dropping a like if you're still here. And yeah, tell me if you've had any stories like that. I thought it was a pretty cool experience. Like, now that I look back on it, it's pretty cool. But like, yeah, it was weird at the time. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day.